hello. If you're wondering the difference between to owned and clone, this is going to demonstrate it. So what we have here is a string, literal string, string literal. And if we show the type, it's an ampersand string. Once we've cloned it, it's still the same. So it's still ampersand str, same type. If we run to owned on it, we get a string. So that's the difference. If you clone it, it keeps the same type. If you run to owned, that method generates a string from a string reference. You can do the same with a vector from a reference array. So here we have ampersand i32. And the cloned version will keep the same type, so it'll still be ampersand i32. If we do to owned, it actually becomes an i32 vector. So there we go. If you run the inlay hints on VS Code, I've set up my keys, control and alt. I can't remember if that's the default or not. If you want to read more about this, go to becomebetterprogrammer.com. Really good article on there. So just to summarize, with a string, a string literal here, so it's basically an ampersand string, a string reference. When you clone it, it keeps the same type. When you do string to owned, then it becomes a string. So that can be really useful, depending on what type you need to return from a function, etc. So thanks for watching, and I'll be back soon.